KJAGRadio.com. Check out KJAGRadio.com. That's KJAGRadio.com. We've got a great guest with us today. Great, great guests. And uh, we're going to go ahead and let them introduce themselves. We'll talk a little bit about why they're here. Go ahead, gentlemen. Introduce yourselves. Tell us a about yourselves. Hi there, guys. We are Speakeasy Circus. Yeah. Uh, we're a band from from Scotland, uh, from Glasgow, Scotland. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, we're happy to be here. Thanks for having us back. I think we chatted last time a couple months ago. Yes. Uh, so it's nice to be back. Yes. Yeah. Speak Easy Circus with us today here on the big program. So um, tell us a little bit about uh, how everything's been going with uh, recording and writing, producing, all the various stuff, guys. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been really good. Uh, as you know, just when we when we spoke last time, we just released uh, "Lion Should Hunt," yeah, yep, which is our most yep. single, um, and the reception from that's been been pretty phenomenal. It's been really been really good. So that's been that's been quite enjoyable to get that song out there and uh, and get some people listening to it. And we've just been kind of gearing up to our next single, which is due out around about May uh, time, which is going to be the next song, which is uh, which is "Company of Men," which again we're very excited about about releasing and apart from that we've just been kind of getting ready for live shows again which mm-hmm. here in scotland we're just starting to come out of our of our most recent lockdown where things are starting to open up in the next couple of weeks and months so we're starting to think about you know rehearsing playing live shows how we're going to translate these songs to live venues and stuff like that which has been a nice uh, change of pace uh, compared to just uh, being in our being in our bedrooms, so uh, hope, hoping to get out there and play some shows. So, Speak Easy Circus. The last time we had you guys on, we got a lot of great feedback to your music. Why are people so into your music? Um, I think it, I think it sounds a bit different. I think a bit of a yeah, a bit of a unique sound. I think what we've got yeah, we've got like. There's not a lot of bands, or at least that, that we're aware of, that are doing exactly what we're doing, which is, uh, it, because it's so diverse from song to song, um, if you listen to uh, a few songs, you're going to find so many different things and areas within those songs that you're probably going to identify with and like. So I think that's definitely a, a, a big attraction to what we're doing, is that we're doing almost everything. I say almost everything, but a, a brilliant variety of different things. Mm-hmm. And it's like Jack was saying, the scope of uh, of a song like Lions You'd Hunt, which a song within itself that has so many different areas. Yeah, it was it was it was all over the world. And I think just about the areas that we were reaching, um, j- just with just with one release. Yeah, so it it's good. The, the reception's been amazing. Yeah, it's been good. Awesome, awesome. It is Speak Easy Circus. They join us today here on Skype, talking a little bit about their music and some of the different things that are going on. So if, if people had never heard you guys before, how would you describe uh, your music, a live performance, all that? Um, I, I would describe our, our music as kind of alternative indie music. I think that it's, it's rooted in kind of, uh, you know, the the indie songs of like Arctic Monkeys and Arcade Fire and stuff like that. But one of the differences is that all the different members of the band have come from different places musically. So we've got like John and like some horn players who have really come from like jazz and soul, like Chats who's come from like playing soul, blues, like funk, all these different kind of elements. And so really I think our our sound is kind of like just just a mix of those sort of things. You know, I think it's quite unusual to see a an indie band come up and play with you know a trombone and a saxophone as i like, playing alongside the like electric guitars and, and bass guitars and stuff like that which i think gives it is what adds to the sort of uh yeah the unique elements of the of the group i think i think as well with especially some of the the or at least the, the limited live shows that we'd already done is that when we when we do a gig we kind of want to put on a show as well yeah um so uh, like um, I myself, sort of backgrounds in theatre and things, and when you go to a gig, you want it to be visually interesting and sort of see a kind of spectacle. And I think that having a horn section with a sort of indie backdrop is visually interesting as well. And yeah. sort of how our it looks good. It things. looks good. So we want to put on a show as well as uh, perform our music. Yeah. So 
Awesome. Speakeasy Circus with us today. You can get more information on Facebook at facebook.com slash speakeasy circus. And they join us today here on our big broadcast from Scotland. And uh, so what, what is what is the music scene like there? Is, is it predominantly your guys' style of music? Is it hip hop? Is it rock? Yeah, I, I don't know anything about the, the, the Scottish music scene. Fill our listeners in here. Chats. This is a good one for you. Yeah, chats. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like uh, there's quite there's there's a lot of music you'll find like all over Scotland. I think um, you know from my experience here and playing around with a couple of different people, it's there's definitely been a bit of a skew uh, towards kind of like maybe like punk and rock and a little bit of indie and that uh, indie rock and kind of like in that skew. I'd say maybe that's the more predominant one but you'll find everything from like punk and soul to hip-hop like you mentioned there's some great scottish hip-hop going on um you can find some more traditional stuff like kaylee or scottish country bands going uh, doing their thing um there's really like scotland's uh uh an underrated uh like powerhouse of music like in a lot That's of ways awesome. i think because there's a lot of great musicians that come out of scotland that uh maybe don't uh hit the lime like hit the limelight like their uh like their skill level might suggest they should but there's a lot of really cool music going on and yeah i guess mm -hmm. we're just really happy to be a part of that kind of music scene we're taking some elements that we like from what we've heard and trying to fuse them together in a way that sounds good to us awesome. yeah, the other thing as well is that the the uh, Royal Conservatoire, which is like a, a very like well known and respected like music school and like drama and stuff like that, is in Glasgow, and yeah. so it's also like a massive amount of really skilled musicians from all over the country that come to Glasgow to study there, and so you get like lots of jazz bands, like classical musicians, and that always just permeates out into the live music scene. You know, they'll have their kind of uh, technical. Uh, formal training but then obviously that comes out into live music and projects and playing with different people and so I think that's what makes Glasgow in particular quite an interesting place because you do have that mix of like more raw kind of punk or rock bands and then you've also got the, these like new jazz and like classically trained musicians that are coming out and also like kind of mixing everything together which is uh, which is a lot of fun. Awesome stuff. It's Speakeasy Circus. They join us today here on our big broadcast, Coast to Coast, to Border to Border on KJAGradio.com. That's KJAGradio.com. So how's the uh, social media reaction been to your guys' music and everything? It's been great. I mean, it's been, it's, it's been amazing. I don't, I don't think we, we thought it was going to have the impact that it had. Um, you know, especially over in the States. We had a, we had a few different um, uh, responses from... Uh, places like New York, um, Atlanta, yeah. like sort of like these sort of places that we didn't even realize the song would reach. Yeah. And yeah. all of a sudden we've got these people getting in contact. Like these, commenting on YouTube and stuff yeah, saying these, like, oh, we heard this song in like yeah. New York or we heard this song on the radio here. Yeah. Which is, uh, we've had, yeah, that's like, exciting to hear that. Social media personalities and things wanting to include us on, um, on their little shows, the little mini broadcasts that they do. So we've been involved yeah. in a few of those. Um, but I think, yeah, it's, it, America's been actually surprisingly, <laughs> surprisingly good, like sort of over there. Um, Probably thanks to doing like some like so, interview yeah, like, with yourself like this, and yeah. doing a couple other things as well. It's uh, kind of got it, got the song out there a little bit more than than maybe our past songs had kind of had the opportunity to uh, to reach. So yeah, it's been it's been great to yeah. see. It. It's kind of we're we're feeling a little bit of momentum coming up to the next song, which again we're hoping is gonna gonna go a little bit further, and then the next one a little bit further. Yeah, we're so we're, we're, been... we're always quite active on our social medias, and um, we we've sort of got various posts, various little videos that we do, some sort of comedy things that um, that I like to do and make, and we put up there. So that if on our social media, there's like a sort of variety of different th things and different topics that we like to do. Yeah. So it's been great. Awesome, awesome. Well, we are gonna go to the track uh, right now, Lions Should Hunt. And uh, I appreciate you guys joining us. Before we let you go, how do people get in touch with you online, social media, websites, all these things? Yeah, so all the, all the usual social media accounts, you know, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, 
uh, on YouTube. You can see some of our live performances and stuff like that as well. So, um, so yeah, we've got all of our, I think they're all just Speakeasy Circus. Speakeasy Speak Circus. Circus. At yeah. Speakeasy Circus. Speakeasy Circus. Um, all of our DMs and everything are open, so if you fancy dropping us a message, DM then we'll, get we'll, get back to you. we'll get back check. to you, say hi, <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, feel free. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Speak Easy Circus with us today here on our broadcast, and uh, Lions Should Hunt is the latest from them. We're going to hear that here in just a few. Well, guys, this has been fun. I'm glad we were able to make this work, and uh, thanks for coming on and, and chatting with us, fellas. Appreciate it, guys. No worries. Thank yeah, you so man. much for having us. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You guys have yourself, yourself a wonderful, wonderful night. Thank you, guys. Yeah. There they go. Yeah. It's Speak Easy Circus. And we are going to go to Lion Should Hunt. Yes, that's right. Lion Should Hunt here. Oh, KJAGRadio.com. Get a hold of us online at KJAGRadio.com. It's Speak Easy Circus right now. Stuck in clothes and stuck in time. Let us help get them off for you. Caught in zone, step into mine. That's the dream that we transmit A car and razor say it is Long with big tits for Kevin's We guess it's what you want, you didn't ask for it You are nothing from the wild Use your nose, fight it's hardly required It's most of the view of and not most of the an act of seduction to stand here and drink To stand at the water and shout out the lion should hunt Don't take my place, I'm the hunter, not you This is unusual, it's something I never do, God forbid on the race without the pole to mark the start and the end. No, oh, this gun fires without my finger. Cardi point that barrel at me. I'm not scared. We both eat at this table, so leave the food and find me and You are not in from the wild. Use your nose, vitally required. To stand here and drink To stand at the water And shout out the lion should hunt Don't diminish me to a creature Don't fucking insult me Like blood to the water is not an accurate analogy Brass traps haven't evolved So you can't study, move or think You've got a fucking iPhone, you're not acting on instinct. Oh, thank God you got a dog. Or I guess you would hate women in an even more obvious way. And it hurts to realise that all your favourite characters are creeps and all the acts that play them too. The fall lights in the zoo and we'll all be predators soon.
That's Line Should Hunt. It is KJRadio.com. Thanks for joining us. KJAGRadio.com. We'll see you next time. Check out our website at KJAGRadio.com today. That is the way to go. Also, listen to all of our streams over there. And go over and check out the Mike.Fun as well. Lots of good things going on over there at KJAGRadio.com. We will see you inevitably next time.